Hello my fellow protoners. Uh, this is a bit of an update to the last video I made. I finally got some time to actually properly do this. And I also have a Steam Deck to properly verify all this on. <coughs> now, there's been some major hints that Sega probably is working on making NGS Proton compatible. Although from the look of it, it looks like Steam and Valve need to do a little bit more on their end. Uh, as we can find out here right now, there's a official layout here, and it says Sega. I think this one is actually, either Sega's starting to support it and they're just taking a template, or they've actually started making an official template for the Steam Deck. Now it's a possibility, or it's just a coincidence <clears throat> in the programming, I'm not sure which. Now for game info, we know that it generally says not supported, and it says it's any unsupported due to the anti-cheat. Uh, we know that now this is false, because when I go play, and we get the launcher, da, 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 da. yeah, right now it's in dock mode, and I have a nice little dock, which is helping me out immensely. Alright. Now we can see, it. it's starting to run. Now, the problem is, is that it is really damn slow, and when I say slow, I mean there's things that Valve need to do to fix the performance, because right now, I have it set to potato, as in graphics setting 1, and it's playable, but not great. And we'll just go through the all of this here. Probably cut out uh, the loading screen because it's unbearably slow. All right, so uh, so as we can see, it's loaded in. And I just gotta dock it a little bit here. Yeah, the performance is Welcome. not great, but it is there. And this is on potato mode. In other words, graphic setting one. Now, I've played around a little bit. I think it's probably trying to resolve maybe some file names. And it's l l getting better each time you start it up and run and enter a new area. It's like it's resolving certain things internally. But it's still a bit of a pain in the butt. Now, the first time that you load it up, it'll probably be a lot more slower and clunky, and after the first couple of goes, it'll start resolving and fixing. But, yeah, I've tried figuring out the trick that uh, one per user posted on my last video. I believe he went by the name Internal, and he ended up saying that we have to check the case sensitivity and use the chatter F command. Now, I'm going to be showing you that it, as much as I want to be able to set that up, it's a bit of a... let's just say I've been unsuccessful in getting that setting set. Now, we'll have to hop into desktop mode. We're going to take this over here. Now, this is the last folder I was in. So, now the problem is that if we open terminal and we look up, so there's a bit of a problem. Uh, let's see. There's a number of commands that uh, you kind of need to know for changing or setting up the command for seeing that it actually clicked in right. LS attributes. Now we can see that 
we got an E on the PSO2 bin. Uh, we need a plus F. And unfortunately, uh, let's see if we can... And if we run this, it says directory not empty while it's trying to set up. So, yeah, there's a bit of a problem. Because we need that F or plus F flag in order to actually properly set the case sensitivity for the Linux file system. Because the Linux file system is case sensitive, whereas Windows is not. And this is one reason why we have the performance lag in NGS. Now, I'm hoping that... Valve either makes a tool to help us set these, or within the Steam Deck game environment itself, it goes like, oh, you're using Proton? We're going to flip the case sensitivity flag right there on the spot while you install it. This would resolve so many issues in terms of performance for certain games. So I'm hoping that Valve does this, where they make sure that, yes, the case sensitivity flag is flipped on games that are required to run Proton. It's... The performance is... We actually very easy now to start NGS, but the performance is an issue. It needs fixing. And as Internal mentioned, it's the case sensitivity that we... that needs to be addressed. And I'm hoping Valve addresses it right off the bat. And if that's true, then yes, it would make the Steam Deck even better for NGS and a lot of people in general who want to play Windows games on the Steam Deck. So I am hoping that Valve does get to work on this and just to make it easier and better for people to play NGS on the Steam Deck. I know it's not perfect. Oh, oh, wrong mouse. Alright, so, yeah, I'm hoping Valve takes time to fix some of these issues and let us be able to set, like, the case sensitivity flag for whenever we want to run some of these Windows-only games. I know it's not going to be immediate, but it's going to be something that's going to be very helpful if Valve does set up the system such that we can do what we need to do in order to get everything running. I know it will be a, probably at least probably a month or two maybe for Valve to probably, after seeing this, they might implement it, but we'll have to see. It's something that definitely needs to be checked as if they can get from the benchmarking video, it seems like if we can solve the case sensitivity, we might be able to get another 50% bonus, which means we could probably move up from a setting of one to maybe two or three. It's definitely something that needs addressing. Now, again, I'm not the person who runs Valve, and judging by the fact that Steam Deck is starting to sell off in Japan, I think Valve might be wanting to actually do this. So, if you think Valve is not aware or needs a poking on this issue, poke them with this video. I uh, hope you all have enjoyed this video, and Hope to put up another one when I get a moment. Uh, as always, like and subscribe.